In this audit, we assessed if the Department of Families, Fairness and Housing, the Department, is providing timely, stable and quality placements for children and young people through its new Kinship Care model. We examined the Department and three other agencies that provide Kinship Care services. Anglicare Victoria, Uniting Victaz and the Victorian Aboriginal Child Care Agency. We found that the department doesn't know if it's providing safe and timely placements for children at risk because it doesn't monitor or report on the new model's outcomes. It also doesn't monitor if staff and its service providers complete placement assessments. This puts children at risk because the department can't confirm if they're being cared for in a safe environment. Additionally, kinship carers aren't receiving the level of support from the department they need to provide stable homes. Kinship care is when a child who can't live with their parents is placed in a relative or family friend's home. Kinship care is the fastest growing form of out-of-home care in Victoria. Between 2017 and 2021, the number of children in kinship care grew by 33%. The department introduced the new kinship care model in 2018 to address the increased demand and issues about support for carers. When a child goes into a kinship placement, the department and where relevant service providers do assessments to check if the placement is safe, understand the carer's needs, and annually check the child's well-being. However, our review of the department's data found that between 2018 to 2020, it only completed 86% of safety checks 44% of care and need assessments and 15% of annual well-being checks. Additionally, it only did 14% of completed safety checks on time, 2% of completed carer checks on time and 1% of completed well-being checks on time. This means the department doesn't know if it's putting children in safe, stable homes. Kinship carers have trouble accessing financial support. In a survey done by the department in 2021, 53% of kinship carers said they didn't feel supported by the department. We also found that 96% of kinship carers get the lowest level of care allowance compared to 32% of foster carers. This means that many carers are either partially or completely missing out on the support they need to look after the children in their care. We made 12 recommendations to the department, including six about identifying kinship networks early, one about completing mandatory assessments, two about support for carers, and three about measuring and reporting on the new model. For more information or to read our full report, please go to audit.vic.gov.au.